Look guys, there are a lot of fish here. There is puffer fish. Their spiky body makes it difficult for predators to eat them. When threatened, puffer fish can inflate themselves, making it harder for predators to swallow them. Many species of pufferfish produce toxins that can be harmful to their predators. These toxins are primarily found in the liver, skin, and ovaries of pufferfish. This is shark. In many places, keeping sharks as pets may be illegal or require special permits. These regulations are in place to protect shark species and ensure the well-being of the animals. Providing the appropriate environment and proper care for sharks is very challenging, and many sharks kept in suboptimal conditions often experience stress and illness. Wow guys! This is dugong. Dugongs are calm and shy marine mammals. They typically swim slowly in shallow waters, foraging for food such as seagrass. Dugongs tend to be solitary except when gathering for mating or caring for offspring. They can become very friendly with humans. Wow! There is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus was an omnivore. He will happily eat anything he can eat, such as fish, sharks, cephalopods, birds or even other members of the Mosasaurus reptile family. This creature uses most of its time to hunt prey. Wow guys this is lemon shark. Usually the names of sharks in the open sea have the meaning fierce or strong. However, the name lemon shark may sound a little strange to our ears because the name is far from being fierce from the shark family. The name of the lemon shark comes from the characteristics of its skin and fins. Wow. Guys, there is blue whale. In the 1900s, there was a massive blue whale hunt. Records show about 380,000 blue whales were caught. The aim of hunting blue whales is to extract fish oil which comes from the fat of these giant mammals. Blue whale oil is widely used in oil lamps and to make soap and margarine. There is clownfish. Of the nearly 30 species of clownfish, there are two types commonly referred to as the orange clownfish, Amphiprion percula and Amphiprion ocellaris. The percula clownfish is distinguished by its vivid orange color and white bands outlined in black. Subscribe guys! What's this guys? There is starfish. A unique fact about starfish is that the shield is a stiff shell that has a rough texture, even thorny, depending on the species. Starfish have a layer of calcium carbonate with tiny spines that deter fish, birds and even sea otters from attacking them. Wow! This is koi fish guys! Koi released into the wild may be more susceptible to diseases and parasites they don't encounter in a controlled pond environment. Additionally, they may not have the same survival skills as wild fish in dealing with predators, overall, while koi can live in the wild, releasing them into such environments should be done with careful. Wow guys, this is catfish. Catfish have several ways to survive from predators, such as hiding in dark and muddy places, moving quickly to avoid attacks, and having a layer of mucus that makes it difficult for predators to catch them. They also often evade predators by digging holes in the bottom of the water and only emerging to search for food when it's safe. This is Gurnard fish. Even though they are small and often targeted by larger predatory fish, this doesn't mean that Gurnard flying fish only eat algae or plankton. This fish is actually classified as a predator. Primarily, they will look for prey around coral or sandy seabed. The main food of the Gurnard flying fish is crustaceans, small fish, and various types of shellfish. There is dolphin geese. Some researchers have found that dolphins have the longest memories of any species, apart from humans. A study revealed that dolphins can recognize the voices of their close friends, even after being separated for 20 years. 
A number of scientists have concluded that this extraordinary memory can be linked to the evolution of social relationships among dolphins. Wow! There is Spotted Eagle Ray. The Spotted Eagle Ray usually eats fish, crustaceans, such as crabs, shrimp and hermit crabs, it also eats mollusks such as bivalves, sea snails and octopus. Spotted Eagle Rays have special teeth for crushing shelled mollusks. There is jellyfish. Even though the jellyfish has died, it is still dangerous. This is because its tentacles, which are equipped with nematocysts, contain poison and still sting even when they are dead. Subscribe guys. Let's look over there. This is octopus. Octopuses live in oceans all over the world. Some octopuses live near the surface of the water in shells, reefs and crevices. Some species live on the ocean floor. Octopuses tend to be solitary, although they sometimes interact with other octopuses. This is large mouth base. Gruber, Epinephalus lanceolatus, can be dangerous if you are near them in their natural environment, especially if you are not careful. They have large and powerful mouths with sharp teeth and can attack if they feel threatened or disturbed. So, it is important to be cautious if you are swimming or diving in their natural habitat. There is Hermit Crab. Hermit crabs have five pairs of legs or a total of ten legs. Uniquely, these feet have their respective functions. The largest pair of legs is used for pinching and grabbing food. The second and third pairs of legs are used for walking. The fourth pair is used for getting in and out of the shell. And the fifth pair of legs is used to clean and remove dirt from the shell. This is turtle gaze. Turtles are omnivores, meaning they eat a variety of foods such as plants, insects, and small fish. This helps them adapt to the availability of food in their environment. Aquatic turtles can hold their breath for long periods while diving, which helps them avoid predators and search for food underwater. Onment. In extreme climates, some turtles can hibernate. There is lobster. Lobsters usually have two pincers of different sizes. The larger one is a crusher, used to crush prey. The smaller one consists of two claws, functions as a cutter or conqueror. Its purpose is to tear prey and shape it into small pieces. There is crayfish. Crayfish do not taste food using their mouths. They taste food with their feet. There are fine hairs on the legs with chemosensory or chemical sensor functions to identify food. Antennas are used to find food that is far away. Crayfish also chew with their stomachs, just like crabs and starfish. Guys! This is Ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction, to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. Thank you for watching guys.